Listen to me, man. You got a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you, not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there, it was learning. Listen to get you where you are today. Do you know that you can actually mess your life completely up and turn around and get it right? All I know is this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. What is it going to take you to get there? I don't know. What is it going to take you to do it? I don't know. What is it going to take you to make it happen? I don't know. All I know is this is my year. What are you remembering? The pain, the hurt, what didn't work out, the pain, the loneliness, the sadness, the weakness, what didn't work out. Turn it around and remember your dreams. You won't be having the opposition. If you didn't have something great, something better, something special in you. If your dream wasn't alive or on track, you won't have all those things coming against you. If you think you are not making difference, so why all these problems against you? Why all those people are against you? You gotta believe that that dream is still alive. You might have tried a year ago. You might have tried five years ago or 40 years ago. Didn't work out. Nobody was there to help you. Go back and try again. This is your time. This is your moment. Come on. You gotta believe that your dream is not dead. It's just not in season. Your time is coming. The promotion is coming. Good breaks are coming. Man, why would you keep up on dreams that you've been praying about? Luck is not your destiny. And struggle is not the end of your story. You're just getting started. You never finished. As soon as you breathe, you're not done. If you want to keep going, if you want to win, you gotta shake off the negativity. You gotta shake off the doubt. You are at the right place. You are at the right time. All I believe is, this is my year. This is my year to get healthy and home. This is my year 
to get what I want and do what I want and go where I want. This is my year to meet the right people. This is my year to find the person that I deserve. This is my year to accomplish my dreams. And this is my year to get further in my career. This is my year to step to the next level of my destiny. So all I know is this is my year. This is my year. Yeah, this is my year to break free from this depression. This is my year to meet the nice and sweetest people in the world. This is my year to accomplish my dreams. And yeah, this is my year to get home. This is my year to get healthy and strong. This is your year. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves better. You gotta stand up and tell the world I'm supposed to be here. So give me what's mine. My journey from here to there was lonely. And the reason why, because I was willing to be wrong and admit wrong. So I can grow and I can change and I can see what my destiny is. We get what we're looking for. You gonna get what you're looking for, even if it not exists. You will find it, even if it not even supposed to be there. You will find it. If you're looking for negativity, you will find it. If you're looking to be looked over, you will. Find it. And if you're looking to be winner, you will get it. But first, you gotta decide that I'm gonna win. You gotta decide that I'm gonna fail. But in the end, I'm gonna win. If you're wondering, can I keep going? Can I keep moving? Can I carry on? Can I do this? Can I do that? Absolutely, you can. If you're wondering, can I trust myself? You have no choice. You might look at everybody in the world right now. Look at their stories. But do you have any idea how they get there? Let no man or no woman to put you down or put you under. You must become strong. You must become something unique. You must prepare yourself for the next battle. And remember, every battle makes you smarter and stronger and a person with big experience. Yes, every battle cannot be won, but the winning attitude 
to not give up. It's more important. It's good enough to carry on. And this is what makes you unique. This is what makes you something not around. This is what makes you special. This is what makes you stronger. This is what makes you standing on your feet. Just because you feel you want to quit. Just because somebody didn't like you today and didn't love you tomorrow, you want to quit. You want to give up on your life and your life is yours. I don't understand why. Just explain to me why you want to give up on your life and your life is yours. It doesn't belong to anybody else but you. All what you did was look down. All what you thought about was sorrow. All what you thought about was misery. You never give yourself a chance to look up. You gotta give yourself a chance. You gotta start looking up. You gotta start climbing that mountain. Cause you know what? You will find your dream become a reality when you get there. For every opportunity that you got, you gotta be willing to work a little bit harder and go after it. That's when you gotta get a little bit deeper. That's when you gotta go after it a little bit harder than you have ever done in your life. God will never, ever close a door without opening a big and better door for you. You just gotta put your trust on God. If you rely on people, you will be disappointed. People will let you down. People will get busy and not be there when you need them. People will even turn on you sometimes. And now you rely on them to keep you motivated. To keep you feeling good about yourself. Like a drug. You don't need them. You don't need those people. You gotta find a way. To keep yourself motivated. Without help. From nobody. Because you don't need nobody. There's a lot of way out there. You need only one. You gotta quit relying on people. What they give you or don't give you cannot stop your purpose in life. Stop waiting for people to approve you and stop proving yourself. You gotta prove yourself. People may not encourage you. You can encourage yourself. People may not make you feel special. You can make yourself feel special. You are always dependent on somebody else. You will become needy and disappointment in this life. You wait for other people to keep you fixed. What is wrong with you? Let me tell you something right now. I want you to hear me very, very carefully. Your friends and your family members, they have enough problems 
of their own. They have enough issues that they are dealing with. They have enough issues to come home and have to work on you for two, three, four, five hours. That is not only hurting you or them, but it's unfair to the people that God put in your life. They are not responsible for you. They are not responsible for your happiness. They are not responsible for your problems. You got to understand that. It's your responsibility. You got to take your own responsibility. Those are your problems. Your things. You got to take care of them. You got to stand up and say, I'm not going to let this happen anymore. This is my problem. I gotta fix it. I gotta find a way to keep things clear. So, stop putting extra pressure on those people. They are not responsible. I trust God. I lean on God. I trust God to show me what to do when I don't know what to do. I trust God for my healing more than doctor. I trust God for my rest. I trust God to show me how to live my life every day. I trust God that I'm not gonna go crazy. I trust God that I won't be sick and end up dying before my time. I trust God He will protect me. And I trust God. I lean on God because there's no man, no person no system, no thing, no money will be able to do you like God will. And I trust God. I put my trust in Him. And you're wondering, how can I have control of my life? You have control. You just don't know how to use it. If you already know, what is he going to do to your day? Why don't you block him? Why are you giving this person the chance to interrupt your day? To interrupt your moment? To interrupt your time? Who do I want? And what do I want? Most of us confine ourselves doing things with no answer. Why you keep calling him back? Why you keep calling her back? You gotta let it go. You gotta be busy. You gotta be in the mix. It makes you feel accepted. And just because you are the loudest person in the club doesn't mean you are really having fun. And just because you are pulling up in the nicest car doesn't mean you actually have gas. Discipline can see you like it, your worst enemy but the reality is discipline is your best friend what you don't know is discipline will take care of you like nothing else can 
discipline will put you on that path path to the strength to intelligence to health and happiness and here's the most important discipline will put you on that path to freedom most of us just think they think 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 but we don't pay any attention to what we thinking we just doing it but that's something you need to train yourself to do you need to train yourself to be aware of what are you thinking? If you run around with nine broke people, I guarantee you, you will become the number 10. If you run around with broke people, you will end up like them. Sometimes you are going to feel you are going backwards. You have to trust God when you don't understand. Me, I trust God when I don't understand. I trust God to show me how to live life. I trust God to protect me from myself and keep doing the right things when the bad things happening and keep trusting God keep thanking God even when you don't see any sign just think about this God put some people in your life for a reason and others are there for a season now hear me up it is very important you got to recognize when people's reasons are over sometimes i get sick and tired of people come to me and go like did you hear the news did you hear the whole dead i said no i don't care i don't care who's dead who's still alive I'm glad my name is not on that list. I'm glad my name is not there. I'm focused on living. So leave me the hell alone. Don't get upset when people leave you. Don't get emotional when people turn on you. That person walked away because he's serving his plan if that wouldn't have happened you couldn't reach your destiny the person that walked away it wasn't a coincidence it was God moving them away what you couldn't see was God had something special something better for you you might not like it now and it doesn't seem fair but when he gets you in the other side of it you're gonna see exactly what is it about and you're gonna be okay with it i promise once you understand that you won't be upset because you didn't get your way because you didn't do it in your way you're gonna see exactly what it feels like to put your trust on God you're gonna see exactly how beautiful it is to lean on God If you weren't supposed to be there, you won't be there. 
So don't be upset over that person who trying to make you look bad. You need them to research your destiny. It's not a coincidence. It's positioning you for something bigger. I heard somebody says, if you don't have haters, you need to get some. You better get some because you need them to research your destiny. Don't wait for hand out. Don't wait for somebody to tell you to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because it must be done. There's gonna be all kinds of challenges that we must all face. You cannot live in this world without challenges. You cannot live in this world without struggle. Because with every struggle that you have been through, it will help you to be stronger. You gotta go after it with everything that you have. For every moment that you have. This is the chance. You gotta keep going. Don't give up, keep going, don't be afraid of the hard work, keep going, don't be afraid to sweat a little bit, keep going, it's okay, you gotta get up, it ain't the time to be sitting up there feeling sorry, you gotta get up, it ain't the time to be saying I don't have what it takes, so what do you think, huh? You thought it was gonna be easy? Oi, oi, listen to me. You gotta understand something. The rule is, you can go after whatever the fuck you want. Rule number two. You don't have to do it the way everybody else has done it. You can do it in your way. You can break the rules. There is two ways to see the world. Some people see the thing that they want, and some people see the thing that prevents them from getting the thing that they want. You have got to recognize the danger and pick up the opportunities that comes to you and make something of them. You know the reason why you stop growing. Because you stop growing. In order for you to keep growing, you gotta keep doing. In order for you to keep doing, you gotta put your foot in the water and start swimming. You gotta say goodbye to some things. You gotta say goodbye to a lot of stuff that you're gonna leave behind you. And this is the only way to keep going. Some of you have no idea what God will do for you. And the only way to know is to step out and find out.